Hey guys, it's Harley Wood. So a few days ago I posted a video on how I dealt with a big hornet nest up in a tree at my house and it involved a shotgun. So if you haven't seen that video, link in the description below, go check it out. The footage I'm about to show you is actually from my old house. I had a railroad um, tie wall, a retaining wall, and in between two of the railroad ties, yellow jackets had bored a nest back into the earth. And I had tried putting just cans and cans of wasp spray in there to no avail. So I saw what I'm about to show you on another channel and it worked beautifully. And uh, it's much less annoying to the neighbors than the shotgun. At my old house, there was no way I could have got away with that. So all it was was a piece of Tupperware. I filled it with water. I took a board and screwed a couple pieces of meat to it. I didn't know this, but yellow jackets are apparently pretty voracious meat eaters. Just put the board upside down on the Tupperware full of water put a little bit of soap, dish soap in the water. And then what happens is the yellow jackets fly in and they go up on the meat. And when they got a piece of meat, they have to drop off to fly away. So they drop to start to fly, but they get caught in the water. So the water level has to be just right to allow the yellow jacket to get in there, eat, do what he wants to do. And then when he flies out, he gets caught on that downward slope. And it works beautifully. Check this out. That thing was up for two days, literally like 48 hours. And I think my son and I counted them out. There ended up being 200 uh, yellow jackets. Now the guy that I got this trick from, I think he killed 900. And I can't remember what the time frame was, but it worked. At the new house, we actually had a yellow jacket problem and they were coming out of a hole in the ground. And it was right where we leave our trash can up for, uh, you know, for the trash man to pick up. So every time I'd go to get the trash, I had to kind of sneak in there, pull the can out, put the bag in, push it back and hope I didn't get stung. And somebody told me, take a, a can of gas and go pour about half a gallon to a gallon of gas down the hole. So I did that and do it at night when they're all in there. And so I did that one night with a headlamp. I was out there and they've never, I've never seen them since. Killed them dead. So anyway, there's a couple tricks for you. Shotgun, water in a, um, in a Tupperware or gas. That's it. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button below. We've got lots more videos to come and we'll see you in the next one.